fight commentary breakdowns here. We have Silala in red versus a heavyweight. This guy outweighs him by at least 100 kilograms. So, this is a open weight division kickboxing. Oh, Silala got to be careful of those haymakers. And his hands are down too. Okay, those are Wing Chun. Ooh, he's throwing a spin kick. So, the heavyweight guy is not bull rushing forward. Ooh, little clinch range going in. Oop, oop, oop. Silala is overwhelming him with faster strikes, you see. See, the heavyweight guy is not used to getting peppered like that. That's very interesting. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Man. Ooh, Silala, man. Lead with a punch or something. Those kicks are very telegraphed. Oh, be careful. I mean, he's doing the right thing. He's kind of... Um, keeping the distance very close, right? So you don't be at the end range of those big heavyweight punches. So, we've seen him spar a heavyweight guy before, but this is the first time he's ever taken on a heavyweight guy in competition. Heavyweight guy, if you notice, tends to be square sometimes. He's not shouldered off, he's not bladed. Uh oh Silala might be in trouble! He might be in trouble! He might be in trouble! Oh no, Silala, come on! No! Yeah, there we go! Nice straight by Silala. Oof, nice, nice! Go to the body, go to the face! There we go! Silala still hasn't really learned to put his hands up more, man. This is kind of a little bit scary, Silala. Shout out to Silala and the heavyweight. Too. Woo, Silala still telegraphing that kick, but it seems to be working. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. nice, nice. There we go. There we go. Oh, Silala's doing some really good angling, but then he tends to get stuck once in a while. Like he angles really well half the time, and the other half of the time, he's being explosive. Now the other half of the time, he kind of just. Um, just stands there. I don't know what's going on. It's almost like he's got different systems of fighting in his head, and then sometimes he's not able to switch between them. So this is the second round. Silala doing some Wing Chun. Uh, okay, so a lot of Wing Chun there. There's a joke that when it doesn't work, it's Wing Chun, which is not true, but um, what I would say is if it looks a little flashier, or it looks a little bit um, flowier, it's probably Wing Chun. Doesn't mean it works, but I'm not going to say, uh oh, that's the problem with throwing spin kicks, right? <laughs> uh, um, I forgot what I was going to say, but anyways, um, Chilala, I don't know if he still smokes. I was supposed to have a Skype call with him the other day, but he was gaming, so um, he missed the call, but I wonder if he still smokes or not, or not, because... If I were a non-smoker, I guess I would assume my cardio is better than the heavyweight, right? So, it almost would make sense to just kind of get... Woohoo! That was a good punch by Silala. Oh, Silala's peppering him! That was great! Um, just get the this big guy tired. Get him to overswing. Get him to overcommit. So... Also, guys, shout out Bloody Elbow. Bloody Elbow really likes fight commentary breakdown. So shout out Bloody Elbow. If you guys haven't gone to Bloody Elbow's website, go to Bloody Elbow. Oh, that was great. You see that? Silala learned to get his head off center line when he threw a left. A lot of his punches are still very telegraphed. I just, yeah. I mean, some of these Wing Chun kind of um, moves, and I don't know the specific names, but they seem to be working in this case. Some of his frames do seem to work. Also, if you notice... His uh, string got untied on his headgear, which is really interesting. So, also, um, shout out to my buddy Jake, who I reconnected with just right now. So, I was texting him right before I was putting on this commentary. So, Jake, you will get a little shout out in this. So... If you were heavyweight, look at that heavyweight is very flat on his feet too. So if you look at the footwork, that's another thing. When you're flat on your feet, you don't have as much explosiveness to your strikes or to your steps, to your evasion either. So see the heavyweight, look at look at his look at versus look at Silala. Silala is much more on the balls of his feet, which gives him more of a spring. So that was the end of the second round. I think so far. Oh, no, just two rounds. Oh, it's definitely going to Chilala then. If it's just two rounds, definitely going to Chilala. Yeah, exactly. Because, again, Chilala hit him way more, and he was the smaller guy. So I think we know who won that, right? So this is Chilala sparring Muay Thai. Muay Thai guy is in the white shorts. So, again, these are different gloves, right? You notice Chilala's doing some Wing Chun right there. Oh, 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 oh. 
That's pretty good. It's like his Wing Chun worked and then he lowered his hands and then Muay Thai guy caught him. Look at that. So Chilala is kind of pairing if you notice. But notice um, if any of you, ouch. If any of you watch the Tyrone Woodley versus Jake Paul number two, you know, don't parry away from your body, right? Okay, if someone's going to hit your face, okay, parry a little. But body, don't parry away because you'll end up like Tyrone Woodley. Um, prayers for Tyrone Woodley, by the way. He had a pretty bad KO. So anyways, um, back to this fight. Sparring session, not fight, not fight. So you see that? Um, I will say Chilala is parrying a little too far, even away from his face. So Muay Thai could probably time that right and hit Chilala. So I know Chilala, oh, that was great head off center line head movement, if you notice, from Chilala. So Chilala, if you notice, has been training a little boxing, I believe, from my understanding. You can see a little bit of it. So, oh, that was pretty good. That was a little good angle right there. Muay Thai guy throwing the teep good. I was going to say, throw more teeps, man. That's one of your biggest weapons against Wing Chun. I like that although they are kind of hard medium sparring, it's still lack of ego sparring. I could tell. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Chilla better be careful doing the Anderson Silva. Woo! Oh, oh, on that. If that were in competition, Chilala would have been KO'd. So, Chilala likes to, likes to, um, punch. He likes to do punch combos, but there's, oh, that was pretty good. Whoa, okay. I was going to say, start more with your kicks and not like the telegraph kicks like the previous match. For those of you who train Wing Chun or most of your combos punches, you do see a lot of great punch combos, but I feel like there's a lot of kick under utilization here from Chilala. So, that was great. Oh, that was great. Head off center line, left, then to a right. So, oh, nice, dude. He did the, he did the Muay Thai takedown on the Muay Thai guy. So, Chilala also trains with kickboxers. So, you see some of that. So, there we go. You see what he did? He led with a kick and then followed up with a punch, right? Your kicks are longer than your punches. <laughs> that was a little interesting um, kung fu upper block. Upper block? Upper cut, sorry. Upper cut. <laughs> Whoa, spinning back fist actually landed. Okay, so this is Chilala MMA gloves versus the Baji guy. Remember the Baji guy? We featured him before. The Taiwanese version of Fight Commentary Breakdowns actually challenged him and they had a match so this is chilala after chilala saw my cover chilala sent this to me he's like oh look i took on the Bazi guy too so notice Bazi and uh wing chun when they're kind of in trapping range they're doing some very interesting stuff this is very different from muay thai clinch range right look at that it's semi-standing grappling type of thing it's like semi-standing grappling with strikes so, um, I don't know why there's no trips. Maybe they said no trips or something, but... Oh, then, never mind, there is trips. Ooh, Chilala kind of <laughs> landed on his head. <laughs> um, so, for those of you who've done Kung Fu, have you ever kind of seen this type of sparring? If you notice, Chilala is southpaw. Our Baji guy is orthodox. So, let's see what Chilala does here. So, we saw trips. Why no kicks? This is almost like, um, what is, what, what does this remind me of? This looks like Tai Chi push hands, um, not fixed step, movable step or free step Tai Chi push hands. But this is like a hard version. So this is really cool. Oh, he almost got tossed. Nice, dude. He saw that Baji guy gave his back trying to do that bulldog throw. So Chilala took his back. That was pro. That was a highlight moment right there. Wow. That was pro. So. Um, this is really cool, guys. I have not seen this type of almost like Chi Sao Tai Chi push hands type. I don't know what do you call this. Is this is this drilling? Is this sparring? See, Chella hit him with in the face. Look at this, man. Yeah. Um. Wow. This is very interesting. Oh, 
okay. Now it's back to strikes. I will say, though, um, I think the reason we don't see this in MMA is because someone's going to shoot a single leg or a double leg or something, right? Or someone's going to do what Silala did that one time, really take the back and just try to choke. So um, I'll have to kind of find out from Silala what the rules are for this. Seems like no kicks. And then grappling and striking and tripping. And when I mean grappling, I mean standing grappling. I don't see grappling on the ground. It gets stood up. So look at that. Silala, he had his hand above the opponent's lead hand. But I don't know what they did there. Wow. So I guess if you ever wanted to see what trapping range looks like, this is, I guess, what trapping range striking looks like, right? I would always say in trapping range, probably Muay Thai's clinch techniques work better or just go to wrestling or jujitsu. But what we're seeing here is an exploration in how you could potentially strike in trapping range. So I'm not saying this is the be all end all. I'm not saying this is good or bad. I'm just observing and you guys in the comments, let me know what you see, what you feel about this. Is this at all realistic or is this more just a sensitivity drill? He's got both arms. Oh, well, no, he's got one arm. Uh, Bodzi guy's got an arm. Look at that. Both their faces and noses are red. <laughs> I, I get that they're having fun. This is great. That was the end of the sparring match. All right, guys. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns featuring three of Chilala's most recent explorations of Kung Fu. Hello, this is Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. I got a green screen, so I'll have a green screen in the future in my videos. And in fact, the reason I wanted to unbox this right now is because I keep putting it off. It keeps just sitting there. So we will unbox this. So now we're gonna have a green screen. So now, besides a black backdrop, we'll have a green backdrop. Ooh, 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 look at this, oh my God, ooh. Um, also guys, Chilala is on the dojo. So if you go to the dojo.com, you can find all these matches. In fact, these matches have been on the dojo for a while. So for those of you who don't want to see my coverage, want to see his exclusive footage, go on the dojo.com. Okay, guys. This is the way you left me. I'm not pretending. No hope, no love, no glory. No happy ending. This, this is, is the way that we love. Like it's forever, then live the rest of our life, but not together.